This is BBC World News Today with me, Zainab Badawi. There's to be an investigation into allegations that British security services were complicit in the illegal transfer of terror suspects to Libya while Gaddafi was in power. The battle for control of Libya, hundreds of anti-Gaddafi fighters prepare to attack Bani Walid, one of his last strongholds. An empty dock, the former French president Jacques Chirac is too unwell to attend his corruption trial in Paris. As shares in the Eurozone fall sharply yet again, the boss of Ferrari gives us his speedy suggestions on how to solve the debt crisis. We have to avoid to become like Greece. In other words, we need uh, important uh, uh, structural uh, deep reforms. And the controversial Indian film about the caste system, which questions positive discrimination. Hello and welcome. The Prime Minister David Cameron has been lavish with his praise of how Libyans are dislodging Colonel Gaddafi after decades of misrule and oppression. It's an embarrassment then that UK security services are accused of being involved in the illegal transfer of terror suspects to Libya while Colonel Gaddafi was in power. The government here says the allegations will be investigated. Here's our security correspondent Gordon Carrera. The ransacked office of the former head of Libyan intelligence. Inside a treasure trove of once secret files, which revealed a close relationship between British intelligence and Libyan spymaster Musa Kusa. The question is whether they got too close. Some of the documents are from one time MI6 man Mark Allen. He offers Christmas greetings and an invitation to lunch at his office. But other documents raise difficult questions, including over Britain's role in the transfer of detainees. One from the CIA to the Libyans reads, We're also aware that your service has been cooperating with the British to effect the detainees' removal to Tripoli. Allegations of British knowledge or involvement in the mistreatment of detainees have already led to the promise of an inquiry. The Prime Minister today said the Libyan allegations would be looked at as part of it. We've issued new guidance to security and intelligence services personnel on how to deal with detainees held by other countries. And we've asked the retired judge, Sir Peter Gibson, to examine issues around the detention and treatment of terrorist suspects overseas. And this inquiry has already said it will look at these latest accusations very carefully.